Now we are going to see how to create this cool kinetic typography. First of all, create a composition, we call it animation, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, and duration 10 second longer. Go to toolbar select typing tool, we type typography. Make sure you text align is center. We are going to add, tracking animator on text layer. Change tracking value to 26. Go forward and add start keyframe, under range selector. Now go backward, and change start value to 100%. Open advanced setting, and change based on value to word. Now press U4 keyframe setting and press shift S for scale. You can get, free project file from the link in description. Only subscribed users can download this. We are going to add scale keyframe. Go backward and change value to 70%. Make sure you text align is center. Press A and change anchor point position to center. Now press shift T for opacity. And add opacity keyframe. Go backward and change opacity value to 0%. Select all keyframes and change it to easy A's. Select tracking keyframes and go to graph editor and change keyframes something like that. Select scale keyframes and go to graph editor and change keyframes something like that. Select opacity keyframes then go to graph editor and change keyframes something like that. Now our animation look like this. Now select text layer press ctrl shift c to create a composition. We call it text. Now we trim the layer. We also duplicate the layer by Ctrl D. We are going to trim the duplicate layer. Now we are going to add CC ball action effect and CC drizzle effect. Now change grid spacing value to 25, change ball size to 70. Now we add scatter keyframe and go forward approx 3 second, and change scatter value to 100. Now press, U4 keyframe setting. We add displacement keyframe, and go forward. Then change value to 150. Now press, U4 keyframes setting. Change longevity second to 15, change drip rate to 2.2. I hope this tutorial help you, to make your own kinetic typography, please like this video and subscribe the channel to motivators, and see you in next tutorial.